Hi guys, welcome to this video. I am your logical reasoning tutor Kasturi Sagar. Guys, in every video I always say that after watching this video, please do practice questions because that is how you can master a particular topic. But I am not going to say this for this topic. Because if at all you have a conceptual understanding about today's topic of logical reasoning and DI, then you can very well solve problems based on this topic in your entrance exams. Today we are going to deal with syllogisms. Guys, this is again an examiner's favorite topic, be it any competitive exam, be it a bank exam or be it any entrance exam. So let's get started with today's topic, which is syllogisms. Before starting with syllogisms, I wanted to I wanted you all to understand what exactly syllogisms is. So basically, it is a conclusion drawing mechanism. You will be given few statements. You will be given a set of statements, say three or four statements. You have to connect those statements with each other and you have to draw conclusions based on those particular statements. You already will be given few conclusions in the paper and you will just have to verify whether that those conclusions are true or false. So let us get started with today's video of syllogisms. But before starting with the problems, I am going to give you a quick understanding about the subject. So let's get started. Now in syllogisms, you are going to have very commonly asked, very common statements, which means that some A's are B's. So some A's are B's. So this is something which is very common. This is a very common statement that is going to be asked, that is going to be given in syllogisms. So how exactly, what exactly does this mean? So if at all I have, I draw a universe of all A's. These are all my A's. And I draw a universe of V. Then there is an intersection of v, which is both A and B. So if I draw an intersection, if I draw another universe of B, it is going to have an intersection with A. And this part is some A's which are B's. So basically when I say that some A's are B's, I mean the intersection of A and B. Then the next one is that all A's are B's. So here as well, I am going to draw a circle. This is the universe of all the A's that are present. And now my all A's are B's. So B definitely means that B is a bigger circle which is encircling my first circle of A. So B is something which is taking all A inside it. So all A's are B means that B is going to be a bigger circle and A is a circle which is into B. None of A's is B. Which means that there is absolutely no connection between A and B. So there is no connection. These two are separate universes. These two are separate circles. So I need not worry about any intersection because there is no intersection of A and B. So with this note, let's get started with the problems. I have divided the total number of problems into two categories. One is the direct problems, which are very simple, which just require you to spend few seconds here and there and you get the answer. And the second category is a bit tricky one wherein you actually need to use your pen and paper, sit and solve the problems and it takes few minutes in order to get to the conclusion. But of course, if you're dealing with difficult problems, then there won't be just one problem that will be asked. There, there will be a case given and you will be asked some three, four problems. Mostly these kind of problems, they come in data interpretation uh, uh, part of the exam. So let's get started with the simpler ones, which are generally asked in the logical reasoning part of the exam. Now, here we are given few statements and we are given few conclusions. Now, I have to just verify which of the conclusion is correct in this given conclusions. So, let's get started by reading the statement. Some cats are rats. All bats are tables. All rats are bats. So, here these are the two statements that we are very familiar with. These two statements have the word some and the word all. We'll come to the third statement, the second, actually the second statement here, but I will first discuss about the first and third statement and I'll tell you the reason why. 
so we we already know how to draw a venn diagram which involves the uh, word sum and which involves the word all now here we are talking about cats and rats in the second statement we are talking about bats and tables which is completely different from my first statement and in the third statement we are again talking about rats but we are introducing a third c which is bats so let us connect the first statement and the third statement because the first and the third statement has rats common so we will be first reading the first statement drawing a venn diagram of the first statement then we'll directly go to the third statement and then we'll go to the second statement so some cats are rats which means that there is an inter intersection between cats and rats so if this is my circle of cats and there is another circle of rats there is this intersection that statement 1 is talking about all rats are bats so when we are talk we are when we are saying that all rats are bats we are basically meaning that there is a bigger circle outside rats which consists of bats all bats are tables which means that there is another bigger circle which is going to be bordering this bat circle and which is the table circle so what are the conclusions some cats are bats some cats are bats here you can see i'll use a different pen here so like you can see some cats are bats this is the bat circle so yes which is very true so yes this statement is true all bats are rats are all the bats rats no if at all you see here then this this portion is which is not rats so all bats are not rats because we have this portion which is outside the circle r which is not rat so of course all bats are not rats so the second conclusion is a false statement false conclusion all tables are cats so are all tables cats no this part of the table it is cat very well but is this part cat no so this part of the table it is not cat so definitely this statement is false which says all tables are cats now let us see another statement i'll again use another color here all bats are cats all bats are cats so no we have said that there are some cats and some bats some bats are cats but not all bats all bats are not cat so if you see so if you look at this this segment of bats then this segment is the segment which is not which is not cats so again this conclusion also is a false conclusion which says that all bats are cats so we have just one conclusion which means which says that some cats are bats which is a true conclusion rest all the conclusions they are the false conclusion they are not true conclusions so there is just one conclusion which is correct now let us see the second problem some ships are boats so here we have two circles this is ship and this is my boat all boats are submarine so i have another bigger one bigger circle which consists of submarines some submarines are yachts okay so i have some submarines which are yachts now let us see the conclusions some yachts are boats so you can see here this area represent some yachts which are submarines 
but is there any part of the yacht which is a boat there can be if i draw a bigger circle of yacht there can be but it doesn't has to be what it says is what the conclusion uses the word that the conclusion uses is are are is not a possibility if it says some yachts can be boats then it is right because then it means possibility but r indicates surety and we know we have drawn a venn diagram wherein we can definitely say that it is possible that there are some that there is no intersection between boats and yachts so the statement is definitely false some yachts are boats no it there is a possibility that none of the yachts are boats some submarines are boats so see these are this the bigger circle is of submarines and yes this this portion is the portion of submarines which is boats so yes which is true some submarines are boats some submarines are ships yes this is very true because you can see that there is this portion which i am going to check out this portion in checks yes it represents the intersection between submarine and ships so yes this is very possible some yachts are ship again this question this conclusion uses the word are and it is very much possible that there can be no intersection between ships and yachts so again the statement like the previous statement is false because here we have drawn a venn diagram which which has yachts which is completely different from submarines so in this case only two conclusions are correct i have read all the questions i have I've read all the statements i have drawn a venn diagram and have derived conclusions but from those conclusions only two of them are matching and i have verified it so let's go to the next problem most cpus are keyboards most cpus this uses most the word most which means that there is a longer there is a bigger intersection between cpus and keyboards so this is my cpu and this is my keyboard no keyboard is a mouse so my mouse can either be here or else my mouse can be elsewhere it can be in cpu also all mouses are cpu so yes they have given what exactly is a mouse so i am just going to draw a mouse here because it says because it says that all mouses are cpu so this is my mouse so it is going to be a smaller circle inside cpu but of course there is no intersection between keyboard and mouse it is completely different from keyboard now let us see what are the conclusions they are talking about some keyboards are cpus yes it is true some keyboards are cpus see this is the shaded portion which is talking about the intersection between keyboard and a cpu so yes it is true all cpus are mouse no of course see we have this portion which is not mouse so all cpus are not mouse so this statement this conclusion is false no mouse is a keyboard no mouse is a keyboard yes they have given that no keyboard is a mouse which also means that no mouse is a keyboard so this is a correct conclusion some mouse are keyboard in the previous statement itself in the previous conclusion itself we have said that no mouse is a keyboard so again this conclusion is a false conclusion and we have just two conclusions right here as well now let us go to the next problem all samosas are jalebi so we have samosas here and all samosas are jalebi so jalebi is a bigger circle all jalebis are tikki so we have an aloo tikki here so another bigger circle which is going to take all the jalebis in it so this is aloo tikki all tikkis are barfi so we have another bigger circle which is of barfi so this just looks like our solar system now the conclusions that they are showing is all jalebis are burfi all jalebis yes all jalebis are burfi which is very true 
ऑल टिक्कीज आर समोसा नो इट इज वाइस वर्सा ऑल समोसा आर टिक्की ऑल टिक्कीज आर नॉट समोसा रीड द कंक्लूजन प्रॉपरली बिकॉज देर आर दिस पोर्शन ऑफ टिक्कीज विच इज नॉट समोसा सो दिस इज एन एब्सोल्यूटली फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट All samosas are barfi. Yes, very true. Because samosa is the smallest in this Venn diagram, smallest circle. All barfi are jalebi. So we have barfi here and we have jalebi here. No, all jalebi is barfi, but all barfi is not jalebi. So again, in this question also, we have two conclusions which are correct. Now let us see the next question. All liquids are solids. All liquids are solids. Some solids are gases. So I have this circle of gases, and this intersection is what it, this statement is speaking about. All gases are clouds. This was very similar to the previous question, actually, one of the previous questions. All gases are clouds. So what is the conclusion? some clouds are solid some clouds are solid yes it is very true because some gases are solids and all uh, gases are clouds so yes some clouds are solids so this is a correct conclusion some clouds are liquid some clouds are liquid some clouds may be liquid if at all i had drawn a bigger circle this is quite a possibility but this is not a surety so yeah, no the statement is absolutely false some clouds are liquid no it is not it can be a possibility it can be if a word can was used here then the statement would have been right some gases are liquid some gases are liquid again if the word can would have been used then the statement would be right but right now based on this venn diagram no it is not correct some solids are cloud Yes, it is true that some clouds are solids and some solids are cloud because there is an intersection between cloud and solids. So, in this question, we again have two options, two conclusions which are correct. Now, let us see the next question. All gold are platinum. So, we have gold here, and all gold are platinum. so we have platinum which is a bigger circle and which is um, eating away the smaller circle no platinum is silver so if no platinum is silver then no platinum is gold also because gold all gold are platinum some diamonds are silver so we have another thing here which is diamond it is quite possible that diamond can be like this or diamond can be like this so these are just possibilities diamond can be anything some diamond are gold like i said that some we are given some diamond are silver but we are not given that some diamonds can be gold had the word can used here then this would be a correct statement but right now the word is are which means a surety and we cannot say for sure that some diamonds are gold so no this is a false statement some diamonds are platinum again if the word can this is a possibility if the word used would have been can then this would be right statement but right now there is no surety so no it is not some gold are silver some gold are silver no no gold is silver because no platinum is silver no silver is gold yes yes this is absolutely true statement there is no relationship between gold and silver there can be a relationship between diamond gold and platinum so in this question there is just one statement which is correct so guys in this video i have solved the really simple direct questions which are based on syllogisms to go through this video if you haven't understood the concept then you can practice more questions in order to make in order to be thorough with the concept so that is it for now stay tuned for the next video wherein we are going to be dealing with indirect problems or a bit difficult problems that's it thank you